Hey everybody, it's Michelle and welcome to A Day in the Life with me. Today's video is going to be a collab that be the beautiful uh, Beauty and More with Renee and Mama Vapes have put together for you. I'm actually filming this the Sunday before it's due. I'm actually refilming this the Sunday before it's due. I filmed it already, but I messed up the footage, so I'm just going to redo the look. I already know what I'm going to do, so we're just going to get on started. I'll show you the products that I'm going to use. I'm not going to talk about what I'm doing to my face. I will show you the products, um, and then I'm just going to talk about what I'm grateful for and what I'm thankful for, and we'll go from there. So without further ado, let's get to So everything that is to. on my face is my project pan, which... I'm going to try to hold out until the first of the year to change. Even though the mascara is a little clumpy, I'm just going to make do and we're going to push through. And in January, I'll do a new project pan. So let me show you what I'm going to use for the eye look. I already know how it turns out. It's gorgeous. So let me just show you what I'm doing. So I have this little quad palette from AOA Studios. It's Shop Miss A. And I'm going to use that light shade in this palette to lay down the base. Then I'm going to go in with this. This is Smashbox. Um, Holy Crop is the name of it. Hopefully that's in focus. You guys know that I can't see crap because I have my glasses on. I'm going to use this deep shade in the outer portion. Put this in the center. And then in the front part of my eye I'm going to use the Super Shock Shadow and Birthday Wish and that is going to go in the inner portion of my eye. So let's just get on started here shall we? So the only the only requirements that Renee and Mama Vapes had for this collab was to just do a sort of fall inspired look and with that fall inspired look, they wanted us to talk about what we are thankful or grateful for. Grateful, thankful, I, to me, are like the same. I am grateful for, I am thankful for. So, I am thankful for the health of my immediate family. And I am grateful for my brother feeling better from his stroke in June on Father's Day. He had too many strokes, if I haven't talked about that. Um, he had too many strokes on Father's Day, and he's so much better now than when he was right afterwards, so that's just wonderful. Um, I am thankful and grateful that my son is healthy and you know, as happy as a 20-some-year-old can be, living on his own. He does live in northern Michigan, and I'm in southern Michigan now, so that's a little hard on me. Hopefully, he'll be able to come down for Thanksgiving. That's really been weighing on me. I've been sad because I haven't seen him or spent a whole lot of time with him since I've moved down here. So hopefully he'll be able to come down. He doesn't work that day. Work from home for a um, specialty pharmacy. I contact patients and doctor's offices to get the specialty meds. Kind of hard to explain. Um, we don't handle like your everyday medications that are prescribed. So I work for a specialty pharmacy. We handle... Um, you know, like cancer medications, um, HIV and AIDS medications, um, psoriatic arthritis, like major illnesses that make you go to a special specialist. So if you go to a specialist doctor like to get medications, we handle those drugs at the pharmacy I work for. Um, what I'm, I'm thankful for my job. I'm thankful that I have a job that I can work from home. Uh, I'm not saying it's not stressful and there aren't times where I'm like, why am I still here? Why am I doing this? Um, I just remind myself that I get paid decently. Um, I've made more per hour, but it was 
you know, I wasn't at home. I had to have a car, insurance, gas, the whole shebang in order to go to work. I feel like I'm just rambling, so I, I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to leave in. But, you know, I'm thankful for my job. Uh, like I said, I'm thankful for the, my immediate family. It's all ha healthy and happy for the most part. Um, I'm going to be very, very sad when my son decides if he's going to move to Florida or not. I mean, it'll be great. I'll have a place to go visit. It's not like I'm seeing him all that much right now anyway. But, I mean, I miss him horribly. I'm not used to not seeing him at least once a week. Um, what else? I am, even though I complain about the kitten, I am grateful that I have the kitten. I miss my Tigger. But having the kitten has helped a lot. So I'm grateful that I have the kitten. Who is, we have found out is a boy. But we, and I'm not even sure if I've told you guys that in a video yet or not. Um, we found out that the kitten is a boy. We have named it, had named it before when we thought it was a girl. We named it Linda. And we're just leaving it as that. Because we constantly have to yell at the kitten. So I named it Linda from that little boy. I'm sure everyone's seen the viral video. The little boy that yet is saying, listen, Linda. Linda, listen. So we named him Linda. And he, we're just sticking with it. It's not like he really answers anyway. He answers to, and I can't spell that, so the kitten's name is Linda. Okay, I'm going to fix this, put on some lip and mascara. Oh, we'll be right back. So here is the finished look. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm so sorry you're going to hear the kitten playing around by my feet, playing with a bottle and a bag and whatever else he can get his hot little paws on. Even though I just bought him a chewy toy so he'd stop chewing on me, he's still chewing on me. But I am grateful for him. I am very, very grateful for him. I am. I'm not crossing my fingers or nothing. Anyway, <laughs> here is the finished look. I am on my lips. I do have, this came as a set. Um, they're both from ColourPop. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in I Heart This. And then the Lippy Stick, which, you know, once everything gets back to normal, I will be picking up more of these. It's just so pillowy soft. Um, and this is in the shade Sweet Stuff. So this little set was really cool. I, I don't know that I'll ever buy any more of the lippy pencils because it's like the plastic and you it it just does not sharpen well so I probably won't ever buy any more of these because I don't care for that um but the lips lippy sticks I do like it still feels really really soft I don't feel like I have anything on my lips so other than that let me know what you think of this look is it very fall in your eyes I think it is very natural neutral colors it's probably a look I would have done um, earlier on with a darker shade yeah I think I would have done this before maybe not so much the shimmery part on the inside because I wasn't really into shimmers before um, and I've just now learned how to do shimmers so maybe not Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me what you are thankful and grateful for. I would love to know. I will also have the playlist listed in my description box below, along with a pinned comment down in the comment section. Or I will pin a comment with the link to the playlist down below. So please check out everyone else's videos. Let them know I sent you if you've never been to their channel before. And... Maybe watch a couple videos. If you like them, subscribe. Same with me. If you're coming to my video from someone else's channel and you're not subscribed, check me out. 
I do a wheel series and I am in a couple collabs and this is not even and it's going to drive me oh well I gotta fix that now <laughs> it's gonna drive me nuts so let me know what all your thoughts and opinions down below please vi give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you've not already ring that notification bell so you're notified of each and every upload and leave me a sweet sweet comment below let me know what you're grateful for what you're thankful for this year and that is going to be it as always guys say it with me be kind to one another and know that you are loved you are appreciated and you yes you are important bye guys